Committee on Oversight and Accountability will come to order. I want to welcome everyone here today. Since assuming our Republican majority in January, the House Oversight and Accountability Committee has uncovered a mountain of evidence revealing how Joe Biden abused his public office for his family's financial gain. For years, President Biden has lied to the American people about his knowledge of and participation in his family's corrupt business schemes. At least 10 times, Joe Biden lied to the American people that he never spoke to his family about their business dealings. He lied by telling the American people that there was an absolute wall between his official government duties and his personal life. Let's be clear, there was no wall. The door was wide open to those who purchased what a business associate described as the Biden brand. Now, what were the Bidens selling to make all this money? Joe Biden himself. Joe Biden is the brand. And Joe Biden showed up at least two dozen times with business targets and associates sending signals of access, influence, and power to those prepared to pay for it. The American people demand accountability for this culture of corruption. They demand to know how these schemes have compromised President Biden and threatened our national security. They demand safeguards to be put in place to prevent public officials from selling access to their public office for private gain. So let's get it straight. We're 62 hours away from shutting down the government of the United States of America, and Republicans are launching an impeachment drive based on a long debunked and discredited lie. No foreign enemy has ever been able to shut down the government of the United States, but now mega Republicans are about to do just that. Despite years of investigation, is the smoking gun that connects Joe Biden to his never do well son's corruption. It's scandalous to use impeachment to establish a counterfeit moral equivalence between President Biden, an honorable public servant who has never been indicted or convicted of anything in his career of more than 50 years in public life, and Donald Trump, a twice impeached president who's recently been found in court to have sexually abused and defamed a woman and fraudulently inflated the value of his real estate properties while facing 91 criminal charges in four separate indictments. Impeachment is the people's final weapon of constitutional self-defense against a president who behaves like a king and violates the public trust by committing treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors equivalent to them. It is reserved for extraordinary public offenses like inciting a violent insurrection against the American government and trying to overthrow our presidential election.